Big revelation by Martin's father. Father says Martin and Sharif's childhood friends. Sharif's father not in touch with Sando. Martin Ahmed's father, Mansoor Ahmed, says that Sharik and Mansoor both grew up in the same place, so they were friends. We don't know anything other than that. After the Bangla blast from that time, is not in touch with us, and we still don't know where he is. Is what the family members are now claiming, saying that they are unaware of the whereabouts of Shari of Martin. Essentially, Sharin, of course, uh, Sharik, of course, continues to be in hospital. He was the man who carried out the blast, and is now being caught in the CCTV pictures as well. Sagay is getting us more on that story. Essentially, Martin and Sharik were childhood friends. Is what the family members, the father, essentially here. Sharik's father is revealing. However, they don't know about the whereabouts of Martin here. Sagay. Absolutely, because uh, they were childhood friends. Uh, they, they lived in the same village near uh, uh, Tirtha Halli. And even her mother went on to say that uh, they were town folks. They were together. Uh, and uh, uh, that's how Sharik knows Matin. But how it has been transpired uh, from there to terror activities is a big question. Because <coughs> we, 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 in, in, we have learned from uh, police sources that uh, uh, sh uh, um, Yasin and Mazu were arrested early in the, earlier in the month of September from Tita Halli have told them that Sharik was the main person who was teaching them. And what we also get to learn from our police sources is that Matin was a handler who was trying to radicalize Sharik and he was a person who had added into one of the WhatsApp group and training how to make bombs and how to execute the plans of uh, uh, planting bombs in several places. So th these are quite clear. The network of uh, Mateen as well as uh, Sharik and as well as Arafat. And police has also revealed that Arafat is also hiding in Dubai and he was also one of the person behind uh, Sharik who have radicalized him. So the, once uh, they get a clear picture uh, from Sharik about uh, the network with Mateen, probably more details will be available. As of now, Mateen is one of the most wanted list where there is a bounty which is announced of 3 lakh rupees from National Investigation Agency, that is NIA. And uh, so far, we are not aware about his whereabouts. And last time that he was found was in Pune. So these are the network which NIA along with Karnataka Police is trying to trace out. So essentially, Mateen is what you are telling us. All right.